Hi, this is my second attempt uh, to make a uh, Saturn V style spaceship in KSP and this is much better than my original uh, attempt was. So yes, uh, for example it has uh, five engines on both on the first and second stages uh, as in the original. Uh, but actually I needed to add those engines in the first stage because uh, after uh, 101 uh, the required that to be increased so I needed more fuel and it meant that I needed more thrust and the middle one is actually main cell with others being uh, uh, skippers and the nice thing is that it turns off like 20 seconds before uh, the burnout of the stage now uh, just very similar to the original one and now there are another five engines and now only the middle one is gimbaled because the thrust to weight ratio was just barely above one so I needed uh, to have the LVT 30s uh, there um, but in reality uh, the outer ones were gimbaled and the middle one was not but anyway it works uh, quite well so I can use it to push me almost up to orbit and finally the third stage uh, with single engine which is a skipper in this case will push me into orbit uh, and it will be used for the injection burn towards the moon mm, yeah circularize and here we have uh, this uh, last uh, yeah, just setting up the maneuver so uh, here we have now these uh, um, fairing so I could set uh, this interstage fairing to make the rocket look very similar to the Saturn V and after the injection burn I can do the transposition docking and the extraction maneuver just as uh, uh, the original Apollo modules uh, did but I was not very uh, good in this one so I was off target I just did one little push of the RCS uh, I didn't want to waste more fuel so it was harder to make the uh, docking so after this there is this third stage what I can detach and uh, with a little push uh, with the probe body on it uh, I can uh, make it crash to the moon and the same to this engine housing which is still there uh, on the service module and they will both hit uh, uh, the moon now after the sphere of influence fixes or sphere of influence change fixes they have a calculable path so basically at this point uh, the probe body that was on the uh, lamb uh, consumed a lot of electricity so I had to turn on the fuel cells mm, they don't really consume much so actually they work, work really, they are really good we finally have them. This is the braking, and after that, I just have to transfer the crew and uh, uh, move uh, and detach the, the lamb, and mm, yes, uh, do the landing basically. Uh, and now it's it's. I try to make it uh, similar to to the original one, but uh, now I use the stuck uh, uh, two-person lander can, but this is round so the top part is not really uh, that boxy uh, design that uh, was in the original or in, or in my previous version even and actually it makes it more heavy uh, so but I didn't, didn't have to squeeze it into that small volume that uh, I had to do with the previous uh, design um, on the other hand, the rocket is still not uh, complete because I miss one diameter. Uh, uh, if, because if you look at it, ah, here's my my target. Just yeah, the Armstrong Memorial side. So if you look at it, uh, the original Saturn V has a, a, a step between uh, the the second and the third stage in diameter, and I don't have that because there is no corresponding tank size. Uh, so <laughs> actually, I couldn't do it. And here's the landing, uh, I was quite on target, but I landed somewhat faster than I intended to. There was no problem with it though, so uh, it was successful. So I just get 
out the guys and with the ladder it really looks similar to the real lamb tanks visible on the on bottom side of the ascent stage so uh, he has just a short visit uh, to the uh, side and back and here is the original lamb and my version in the same picture let's go back and get into the undercat and wait for the orbiting common and service module to be in position and here it is Ascent, I was uh, looking at the site as long as I could or as it made sense and after that I was worrying about uh, those mountains or the edge of the crater that I maybe I hit it because I was going with a very shallow or very, very flat trajectory so uh, it was somewhat worrisome and this engine doesn't have that, that much thrust to weight ratio here and, and so um, I had to be careful and here are the craters from the cabin it turned out that uh, I was very precise in this uh, burn, so I actually had an instant encounter there. Just needed to correct for uh, one degree of uh, inclination. And here was the common model visible from the uh, cabin. It was quite unexpected. I didn't expect to see it uh, from the uh, cabin. And yeah, after this uh, uh, close, uh, just had to do the docking and this is uh, of course uh, similar as I always do it I try to read it as little RCS as I can but it's, it's a lot of RCS so it wasn't necessary <laughs> I remember my first one it took half an hour and yeah I was really nervous to read it uh, now it's just a usual maneuver I always do and it's very easy even if it takes some time Just tiny corrections. When I'm close, uh, just uh, some braking because I was going, I was going around one meters per second. But I, I deemed that a little bit fast for docking. So braking, 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 and dock. So transfer the crew, get rid of this uh, uh, stage, uh, and make it crash to the surface with the pro body which uh, is on it and that uh, that was that controlled or that was that consumed all this electricity and that that why I need that was because I needed uh, these fuel cells and, and the uh, injection burn towards uh, do, do, towards carbon it turned out uh, I was passing about the space center and detached the service module and there were the tanks inside it so I was passing over the space center. I didn't correct for it. I could have landed uh, closer. And actually, that heat shield is not really necessary. Uh, at least in one or two, no way uh, it will burn like this. This shallow reentry. But it looks more authentic this way. And yeah. Anyway, probably we will need it if they fix this again. Yeah, because. They fixed it once in 101, so that's why it's not nearly needed. And just final splash down, as it should be with an Apollo-like mission. So, st thanks for watching. Bye.